This is Craig from Pinnacle Card. Today I would like to tell you about some of the search engine optimization features found within the Pinnacle Card e-commerce application. As most of you know, Pinnacle Card is one of the most search engine friendly e-commerce applications out there. And today I would like to show you some of the features that can help you improve your search engine listings in the search sites, including Bing, Google, and Amazon. So the first thing we're going to want to do today is log into the control panel of Pinnacle Card. Uh, I've already done that here. So next let's go to Card Settings global card settings and then to search engine settings. Now most of the features on this page are global in nature meaning that if you make a change it's going to affect all the URLs throughout the application but there are a couple of things that are specific to the home page and one of those things is the site title. First thing you're going to want to do is go in here and create a site title that's specific to your store in the, store, in the products that you're selling. Uh, after that's complete, we're going to want to make sure that the flag URL generation feature is on. Now, by default, Pinnacle Cart does come with this on, but the way that you can tell is if you go to the front end of the application, take a look at the URLs that are being generated. If they look something like this, that means that it's not on. These are database-driven search engine strengths, and they're not going to do well in the search engines. Coincidentally, this is what most e-commerce applications use. So what we're going to want to do is go into the back of the application, activate it, and hit save. Now when we go to the front of our cart we can see that these URLs are going to be much friendlier in nature and the search engines are going to be able to show exactly or be able to tell exactly what kind of products you're selling through the, the URL. Okay so next I'm going to go in here and start making changes to this URL. Uh, first thing I'm going to do again is go back into the application. Uh, in my example, I'm going to want to change the dash to a underscore in the URL. Okay, now let's go to the card. And as you can see, there used to be a dash there. Now there is a underscore. Let's go back. As you can see, you can also generate lowercase URLs if you like. Uh, you can also start controlling exactly what appears in that URL. I want to give you an example where I'm going to change the product name in the URL to be the product ID. And to do that, I just simply go to the page URL, change product name to product ID. Just a little information here, if you look below each one of the blanks, you can see the variables that can be placed in the blank to generate these URLs. Now I've put in product ID, hit save. Now as you can see, this is the product title, it's no longer being used in the URL. It is using the product ID. Now what I'd like to do is change the category URL. Right now I'm using the category name in the URL. And instead I'd like to use the category path. Uh, this can be effective if a lot of different subcategories and sub-subcategories will create a little bit of a breadcrumb for you and the search engines to kind of navigate through. So I will change this real quick. Go ahead and save that from the front of our site. Now if you take a look at the URL, it shows computer parts, processor CPUs, and Intel processors, which is the same string that you're seeing here. So you can see we can make all types of changes globally to the URL to really either change the structure of the card or duplicate an existing structure. These features are really important if you're moving over from a different application. Especially if the application has been on the web for a while, when you're moving over to Pinnacle Card, you may want to duplicate the URL structure um, from the existing card into Pinnacle Card, and you can do that using all these tools. So the next one I want to do is show you just a little bit about meta tags. Uh, of course, Pinnacle Card does have full support for meta tags, but one of the features we also have is the ability to auto-generate meta tags, which you can see here. 
And what this feature will do is it'll take the product description and start generating meta tags into the product pages for you automatically. Uh, also, you can add meta tags and keywords to the home page, and you can do that all through here. And of course, Pinnacle Cart does support a robots, excuse me, support a robots.txt file, which can make search engines index your site differently if you like. Okay, so next I'd like to show you some of the product URL features that we have. So to do that, let's go to Categories, Manage Our Product. And in my example, I'm going to be editing this product. So let's scroll down, and we're going to see our search engine properties. Here I can put in meta keywords, meta titles, and meta descriptions, of course. But what is really neat is I can start creating different URLs. So this up top here is the standard URL that's going to appear according to the global structure that we set up. Now I can change that to greatscreen.html. Go ahead and save that. This is our product here. Now take a look at that URL. It's the exact URL that I put in the back. This is really, really great, again, if you want to have some really good search and positioning and you want your URL strings to reflect exactly what's in the product. Also, it's a really, really great feature if you want to duplicate an existing structure of an application uh, into Pinnacle Card. This has been a short tutorial. If you have any questions, by all means, feel free to give us a call or contact our support department. Thanks and have a great day.